camera. Is that any better? Maybe. I don't know. What's going on guys? Digidestin here. Back again with another pickup video for you. This video is kind of cool just because I would say the majority of it was thrifted. Uh, so maybe like 97, 98%. I don't even know where I got that number. Uh, but moving on, I'm going to show you some, some cool stuff from Value Village. Uh, first thing I want to show you, this right here, it's a very cool Pokemon Game Boy Color case. It's a Karen case with Blastoise, Meowth, and Pikachu. Uh, this one was five bucks, not bad. And the cool thing about this is inside here, it's a little piece of cardboard. And if you slide that piece of cardboard out, it says right here, GB6 insert number one, Game Boy Color Pocket. And so what that means is essentially this thing was never used. It's a little bit dirty on the outside. Uh, you know, you can expect that from uh, some, you know, some carrying case from 1997, uh, but for the most part, it's been unused, so that's very cool. Next thing from Value Village, uh, it's a little rare for this channel, I don't show this too often. Uh, it's an Xbox game, and what's very cool about it is it's grabbed by the Ghoulies. It's somewhat uncommon, uh, nothing too rare, or it's made by rare, uh, so it is kind of rare. Uh, but it's not that valuable. So maybe it's worth like seven bucks. This is made by, it's kind of like a spiritual successor to like Banjo Kazooie. Um, or that's what I've heard. I've never played it. Uh, I've heard it's not that good. But it's very cool to find. It even says from the creators of Donkey Kong Country and Banjo Kazooie on the front. Um, I don't have a huge Xbox collection. Uh, but with a title like this and with. Um, you know, the creators of Donkey Kong Country and Banjo-Kazooie working on this game, uh, and a game made by Rareware. Uh, this is definitely a game that I wanted to check out. Alright, the next thing is uh, a console. So, we have a PS2 here, the Slim. Uh, this one is all bundled up together. It's a big old bird's nest of wire. Uh, this is a PS2 Slim. It comes with the AV cable, the power cable, uh, a controller, and a memory card. Uh, it's very cool. This one actually came with a movie in it. It's like colors or something. Um, but I opted to actually take that out and leave it at the store. Just because I don't need it at home. Um, but this one was $24.99. Uh, but the cool thing about this was um, prior to walking into this store specifically, uh, laying on the ground was a coupon. And we weren't sure if it was going to work. Um, it was a coupon for 30% off. It, looked like it was garbage someone tossed it out and we took it and we asked if we could use it and turns out it did work so um, we were able to get this for 30% off and lucky me because I actually just traded mine off to a good friend of mine um, so now that I have one back I can start playing some PS2 games again not only did we find accessories and consoles at Value Village we actually found some games too good little grab bag of games uh, these are all Game Boy Advance or Game Boy Color games um, but we got a pretty good deal on them, surprisingly. Uh, so, first game I want to show you is Pac-Man Pinball. Oh, Pac-Man Pinball Advance. And this one was two bucks. And I like the fact that they actually took the tag and they taped it onto the back. So it doesn't ruin the label. And I don't really have to deal with any adhesive on the, on the card itself. This one here, which is Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, for six dollars. This one was picked up for a buddy of mine. He's been looking for this game, so... Uh, when I told him, he was super excited that I found it. This one I haven't come across uh, often at all. I uh, didn't even know it existed until I picked it up, until I saw it. It's uh, Bubble Bobble. So this one's called Bubble Bobble Old and New. Um, so I'm assuming this one has two different variations of a Bubble Bobble on it. Um, probably like the, the old NES port as well as a modern port. And this one was $10. Um, it seems a little pricey, but it is an uncommon game from what I've... You know, from what I've heard, and uh, I do like Bubble Bobble. I'm slowly getting some more Bubble Bobble games, and it's I'm sure it's going to be fun. Moving on to the last Game Boy game, uh, we have Pokemon Pinball for five dollars. Again, taped to the back. And the great thing about this is, um, when I first picked it up, it didn't have the battery cover, 
And when I started digging through, they had like a whole basket of, of Game Boy games. But when I was digging through the basket of Game Boy games, uh, I came across this. And it's the battery cover. And typically, when it comes to these Game Boy Color games uh, that have the external, you know, battery port um, on them, they typically are missing the, the battery cover. So I'm really glad that I was able to find one for five bucks uh, with the battery cover. All right, the last couple things from Valley Village are pretty cool. Uh, first thing I want to show you is something I had never had in my collection, surprisingly. Um, just never came across it for a decent price or a good opportunity to buy one. Um, but it is a Nintendo Power Pad. And this one is in excellent condition. Uh, this one was actually $15. But we did have a coupon, uh, so Valley Village has a reward system with your number, and if you spend a certain amount, uh, you get coupons back, so you get some rewards back. And we're able to use a 20% off coupon on this. So uh, instead of $14.99, it was something like maybe $11 or $12. Um, either way, I, I thought it was worth it because you know I don't have a power pad yet. I don't come across these in the wild at all. Uh, and it's in awesome shape. I mean, it's a little dirty. But there's no rips, there's no tears, uh, you know, it's still got the the factory folds in it from when it was inside its box. Um, yeah, I mean, it'll be fun. We'll, we'll give it a try with, you know, world-class track meet or something. Get some exercise. Alright, and the last thing grabbed from Valley Village is something very cool. It is Star Fox Adventures Bobblehead. Uh, this is Star Fox, Fox McCloud. And this was picked up for $4.99. Very good price. And this is actually uh, from the GameCube era. And it's from Target. It's a Target exclusive. And this was given out as a pre-order bonus or a purchase bonus uh, for Star Fox Adventures when it first came out. I don't know. This was just sitting up on the shelf. It's very cool. I never thought that I'd find one, especially brand new, um, on the shelf. Actually, I shouldn't say I found it. It was my fiance that found it. Um, you know, no surprise there. She always finds all the cool stuff. I don't know, I'm speechless. What's very cool too is, uh, look on the bottom, you have the certificate of authenticity. It says you have received number 10,651 of 30,000 bobbleheads. Limited edition Star Fox bobbleheads. I don't know, I'm, this one gets me all giddy because I, can't even, I don't even know what to say about it. This is super cool to add to the collection. All right, the next game I want to show you is from Half Price Books. We only found one thing there, uh, and it was a Super Nintendo game. It is Rock and Roll Racing, published by Interplay. And the cool thing about this game is it was actually developed by a company which is now known as Blizzard. So, you know, a little, little known company. Um, but it was $25, and the cool thing about this game is it's a, a top-down arcade racing game. And uh, your car has guns, you can have upgrades to it, and the soundtrack is probably what most people like about this. There's tons of classic rock uh, themes in there. They're not necessarily licensed, but they do sound similar. You can really tell the difference uh, or notice, you know, which tracks are supposed to be which songs in real life. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's an uncommon game. I don't particularly like it. You know, I'm not a huge fan of that playstyle. Uh, but it is a game that people do love and I can definitely use this to trade with them. All right next up is Goodwill finds uh, So we did find some stuff at Goodwill uh, Probably not as good as Value Village this week, um, but still some cool stuff nonetheless. Uh, first thing I want to show you This thing right here is found, found by my fiance How much was it here? It was $1.99 and uh, it's your perfect back-to-school kit uh, It's got a sharpener, eraser, notepad, folder, pencils and uh, a pencil pouch, officially licensed by Nintendo. I don't know, I'll find a use for it. Maybe maybe when I do have uh, some kids or go back to school or something, I might use them. All right, another find from Goodwill. Uh, these came from the same Goodwill, but they're not necessarily retro. Uh, some PlayStation Move controllers. So this one, we have a standard Move controller here. This one was $5. Uh, and then this one, the gun, uh, with the navigation stick down here as well, this one was ten dollars and what's great about these are um, I actually I already have my own set but I use these to trade into like GameStop or game stores because these are still relevant people are using them for the PSVR and you know they give me a decent amount of credit so I can use this to, to trade towards something that I do want maybe something on on the switch or an accessory 
or maybe a game on PS4, but they're very handy. Um, you should keep an eye out for them if you can, you know, get them for cheap. GameStop typically sells them for, for $30, so if you don't have them, you know, there's definitely cheaper ways of getting them. Alright, the last find from Goodwill uh, is a plushie, so it's not a game, it's not a console or anything. Uh, but it is something I do like. I do like plushies, and I do like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, so it is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles plush. It is Raphael, and this one uh, came out around the same time as the, the cartoon did back in 1987. Very cool. Uh, I do have the Michelangelo one. Uh, this one was found a, a little while back, but he's missing his headband. So the fact that we were able to find this, this Raphael one uh, with the headband is super cool he's in very good shape and uh, he's gonna be chilling with the rest of my collection uh, of Ninja Turtle stuff all right and the last finds of the week uh, come from buddy of mine Castlemania games uh, so recently uh, we met up we uh, we had a trade we got some lunch and had a real good time and I was able to trade off some of my extras and he was able to provide some stuff in return so I to him I traded Soul Calibur 2 on GameCube Doom on Super Nintendo and Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island on Super Nintendo and in return he was able to give me uh, this stuff here. A couple packs of 1-up cards. After using these, these are, I don't know, these are like lifesaver for when it comes to cleaning games. Uh, instead of using a q-tip and getting your hand all cramped trying to clean those pins, all you have to do is uh, take you know, one side that says fluid, put a little bit of, you know, rubbing alcohol or, or cleaning alcohol on it, stick it inside your game here, it, they fit perfectly, rub back and forth, there's a dry side on here, and then just, you know, go over it again on the dry side. And it works so fast, it works so well, um, the pins are, are nice and shiny and polished um, after, you know, just a few back and forths with the 1UP card. So, I don't know, from... I don't know how long it's been uh, that I've been cleaning games and I haven't known about these, but now that I do know about them, I swear by them, this is the go-to way of cleaning games, especially if you have to go through, especially if you have to go through a bunch of them. You can get these from Castlemania Games. They're very useful, so go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check out his site. Uh, the next thing I got from him was this here. So this is uh, just a donor cart. It's a snap donut cart so it doesn't screw together you can pull it apart and it's typically used for repros but I don't make repros I might in the future but I don't the reason why I got this is because I have some Super Famicom games here but some of them the pins don't necessarily work with my adapter my honeybee adapter uh, so I used it for this here if you can see that so some games they have those those three contact points right there and those extra two contact points on the side don't work with my adapter. So it won't work on my Super Nintendo. So I actually, I asked for this extra shell. I used, you know, a cutter and some sandpaper and, um, you know, some, some other tools to actually cut out the sides so the board can fit. And actually it doesn't look too bad. But now I can take the game and I can play it in my North American Super Nintendo, this is a Famicom game in here actually, uh, without any issues. So uh, that's the reason why I got this case from him. Maybe I'll print out a label, maybe I'll draw something, I don't know, something silly. Uh, but yeah, this if you need repro materials like boards, shells, um, maybe even soldering stuff, I think EPROMs, Castlemania Games has got you covered. All right, the last thing I got from Castlemania Games is, again, something not retro, but it's an accessory that I do need. Um, where I live, or where I have my games, my Wi-Fi is horrendous. Like, my router does not want to transmit um, to where my games are. Uh, so when I am playing my Switch, I do have a lot of inter internet connectivity issues. Um, especially when playing Splatoon, you know, you don't want to drop a match. Especially during, you know, ranked matches. Uh, but my buddy Castlemania again came through during our trade and he was able to get one of these for me and it's a wired internet LAN adapter. All it is is you plug it into your switch while it's in docked mode with the USB port and there's another port on this side that allows you to plug in a wired ethernet cord uh, from your router 
into your system and that way you have a constant and stable connection. Um, this would be very useful to me. I know there was a, a Wii U version that came in gray that you could order from Nintendo, Nintendo's online store, and that works for the Switch as well. Uh, there are also some other third party ones. This one's uh, made by Hori, licensed by Nintendo. Uh, I swear by Hori products. But there are other options, there's other alter alternatives uh, that do work as well. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to give this one a try. And those were all my pickups for this week. I'm super excited. Lots of great stuff, lots of variety. You know, found some PlayStation stuff, modern retro stuff, Nintendo stuff, bobbleheads, accessories. Uh, tons of great things so I'm super excited to be able to add all these to my collection add some stuff to trade bait you know add you know just whatever you know it's, it's always fun finding things uh, at thrift stores and and coming up with some savings and, and not spending too much money in this hobby um, if you did like this video please like comment and subscribe I do have other videos that you can check out tips tricks uh, other pickup videos gameplay all that good stuff and with that being said we'll see you on the next one